Thank you, Jenna. Our next guests don't necessarily know each other very well, but they do have one thing in common. They've been awarded prestigious research opportunities at NASA. John Nana is a uh, PhD student in aerospace mechanical engineering here at Notre Dame, and Nelson Bedio Perez is a senior studying mechanical engineering with a concentration in robotics. Hey, thanks for joining us today on Notre Dame Day, guys. This is great. John, let's start with you. You're, you're the, uh, the PhD student, so tell us a little bit about what you've been doing with NASA and how you ended up coming to Notre Dame. Oh, thank you for the question. Sure. Uh, I was born in Lower Cabeta, Kenya, but I attended high school out in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, but I always had an interest in the nuts and bolts of things since I was little. So when I was young, I would be building cattle barns with my grandfather. And so after high school, I attended college at Missouri University of Science and Technology. And out there, I got my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. But during that time, I also had the opportunity to do undergraduate research in robotics. And that's what really sparked my interest in robotics. And so during my senior year, I applied to Notre Dame and I had to, an opportunity to do a college visit. And during that college visit, I got to interview with my current advisor, uh, Dr. Patrick Wensing. Mm -hmm. And I got to see the work that his lab was doing and the advancement they were doing within the robotics community. And that was the instant that I knew that Notre Dame would be my home for the next few years. Um, and so my current research with Dr. Wensing focuses on motion control for quadrupeds, essentially four-legged robots. Mm -hmm. Like how can we enable the robots to walk from one place to the next and do so efficiently and without falling over? Yeah, I, you know, I had the pleasure of interviewing Professor Wensing just a few minutes ago and learned a lot about uh, uh, robotics just in that uh, few minutes he was on. Fascinating work. So what is NASA interested in? Would this be for like probes or things that they would use on, on foreign you know, extraterrestrial soils of some kind? Uh, so within the NASA mission, they're looking to be able to go to different planets such as mm -hmm. Moon and right. Mars. And so they need robots to be able to work side uh, astronauts. And so our work is how can we enable robots to help the astronauts explore these planets and be able to collect samples, for example, and be able to do some of the work that the astronauts don't necessarily have to be doing, sure. and so we can off offset that work to the robots themselves. Sure. Well, it's, and of course it's less expensive usually for robots than it is to send people. You yeah. don't have all life support systems and all that sort of thing, so it makes a lot of sense. Nelson, let me talk with you here. Uh, tough act to follow, but, uh, but what kind of work are you doing with NASA? Um, so last summer I worked on the Extreme Environment Robotics Division on a new mission to Venus where I worked on developing new high fidelity prototypes for a balloon mission to Venus that will probably launch in the next 10 to 20 years that will explore the atmosphere there. And here at Notre Dame I've been doing a lot of work on soft robotics that are highly adaptable robots that can go into confined spaces like disaster zones and also go inside of a human body and be highly adaptable. Well, there is some commonality here because we think of disaster zones as being uninhabitable, very dangerous. Venus is one of the most dangerous and uninhabitable places that I can think of. Tell us a little bit about the atmospheric pressures and the heat and, and things that you had to deal with there. Yes, so that's very interesting because in the uh, cloud layer of Venus, approximately 50 kilometers above the surface, the pressure is actually very similar to what we experience here on the surface of Earth. Um, and that's why we think there's very interesting things going on there because you have high temperatures, similar pressure to Earth, a more highly acidic environment than here, but if all those things are similar, then there might be something else that is similar, maybe some chemical reactions and that might be conduce to life. Yeah. So really interesting things to explore there. The less I knew, and this, I may be totally off base now, but at one point at least, there had never been uh, a probe of any kind uh, that had survived on the surface of Venus. Is that still true? I mean, they just get eaten up by the, yes. the pressure in the acid. Yes, that, that's, that's true. And with, these, uh, with this new balloon mission, the plan is to extend the life of those probes to months at a time. And now that I'm going to my PhD at Harvard University, this fellowship will allow me to greatly extend the capabilities of these missions by implementing soft, highly extendable grippers to those aerial platforms so it can explore the atmosphere and also go down to the surface of a planet, do exploration, get samples, bring them back in a efficient and uh, cost-effective manner. That's, that's amazing stuff. So, I, and I'm sorry, by the way, that you're going to Harvard, a football school, but <laughs> you know, uh, good luck to you there. Uh, John, let's come back to you. And, and uh, I mean, do you collaborate with, uh, with uh, you, you and Nelson haven't really talked about this, but there's, there's a lot of commonality in what you're both working on. Uh, I guess there's common ground, yes. but we are thinking about the 
problem in different manners. I'm focusing more on legged robots, and Nelson is focusing more on how do you get there. And so there's a, there's a bit of difference in that. Right, and you mentioned that you were uh, doing your undergraduate in Missouri. Mm -hmm. How did you hear about Notre Dame, and what brought you here? You uh, that you applied, and I'm just kind of <laughs> curious, like what, what, what was it that said, hey, I want to go to Notre Dame? I think for me, um, I was looking at the robotics fields and just looking at all the schools and what different departments were doing and what was interesting there. So I, was, I applied to different schools, but the robotics at Notre Dame is what really grabbed my interest and just seeing how the, the support that the robotics community here has, just in terms of just even supporting the individual, not just within classwork, but within the, within the scope of how are you doing mentally, physically, and just supporting the person holistically. And so I think that was the attention grabber for me. Well, thanks to both of you, John Nelson, and congratulations on the work that you've done so far and all the breakthroughs that are still out there. I'm looking forward to seeing more about that. We appreciate you being here on Notre Dame.